What's up guys, I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Asphalt. As you can see, we're at the High Banks 3 8 mile oval of Orange County Speedway here in Rougemont, North Carolina. My street stock tour is here tonight for round three of the GXS street stock series. So I uh, think we might have a little bit more cars. I know it's a little bit further out. Wouldn't expect too many cars. I mean, there ain't gonna be no 20 car field day, but I uh, had 12 on the entry list. So hopefully, uh, you know, that many will show up. This is the first time they've had a race here since 2018, so five years without a uh, street stock race at Orange County Speedway. So all the heavy hitters of street stock racing in the Southeast will be here. Your Gary Ledbetters, Marlon Yoders, uh, Jeff Sparks returning today and Patrick Coggins car, the car that uh, Gary Ledbetter uh, was driving, the Fame 48. So a uh, big day on tap, gonna be real warm, gotta stay hydrated, already got early practice going on this morning. So let's get inside, get the day started. Got our tires stacked up in here. Do the peel draw here shortly, about 11.30. Got them equally graded. I'm gonna pull them out and I'll write serial numbers down. That way we know it's on a fair playing field. Been messing with the peel draw balls. Go over here and see what Matt, need to get the serial numbers. Matt getting serial numbers down. That way we can make sure everybody's on a fair playing field. We ain't got nobody putting a tire on they shouldn't be. Got our stacks over here. Stack of four for 150. About to start having pill draw for the GXS driver. There comes a guy that's won all my races so far, Gary Ledbetter. Mama Judy got the pill draw set up over here. Fred getting ready to pass out the windshield banners. So, so far we got, I think it's 12 cars on property. Chris Randall, he came down from Vermont. 12 hours they traveled down here to race with us at Orange County. Couple competitors talking it up, chatting about tires as they wait to get them mounted. Got front runner Jeff Melton back with us for round three. Old Brewster Baker and throw back. Tell me how hot it is. It sure is. Get you a look at the cars. Got a couple Camaros here. Eisenhower and Worthington. Lynch from uh, Kyle Lynch up from Virginia. More weekly guys coming in. Gonna go over here and ride with one of our top competitors, Marlon Yoders. He makes some early practice runs. He's a front end mechanic for Kyle Larson's Cup cars. So his day job's at Hendrick Motorsports. So he's won both the poles this year for GXS Street Stock Competition. But he'll be a threat tonight to win the Volt Pole Award. Thanks, Fred. A little warm. Getting. A little hot. Hey, we had a good amount of cars show up so far. 
we didn't have but 12 on the entry list and they 12 here that's a far cry usually we get 20 plus on the entry list and we don't get nowhere near that so it's good something to build on for the september 30th race yeah we ain't got 12 over here yet oh yeah still gang got all the tires took yet headed to make sure everybody's got their tires that they need missing one somebody hadn't got it. i'm gonna have to go on a detective spree a good looking vintage car here Let's run around, we'll come get me a little snack. Find this little, maybe it's real hot. See what the bologna burger's about. Oh, they ain't got the price on it, must be out of. Getting ready to get the first practice started. Jeff Sparks team going. Here we go, got some coming down through here now, get lined up. Here with Gary Ledbetter at Orange County Speedway, the undefeated man in GXS Street Stock competition. Gary, you got some laughs at this place, but it's been a while. Tell us what you think of the place. Oh, it's a super fast track. It's probably the fastest track we go to. Uh, I mean, it's just, and it's real racy. You run high low, like say cars handling. I mean, you can, it's a really fun track. What, what do you think your chances are tonight in the M51 Designs 51 lapper here? I hope it's pretty good. I mean, as long as we don't break or nothing, we're pretty good in practice and real consistent. So hopefully it'll stay under us and we can make it three for three. We ain't got the most cars, but we sure do got some heavy hitters tonight. Oh, yeah. What's it like racing with some guys from Vermont this week? Yeah, we've raced with him several times at Dillon and uh, Florence. Oh, they're fun to have race with. they good people. And you got Marlin and all that bunch. And, uh, I mean, it, is, it should be a good race. We'll get the radios out now. We can get ready to go line everybody up and qualify them and call them out. Makes it a lot easier on us. Walking around and get everybody to come to drivers meet. Get you a quick look off sweeping turn four down the straightaway here. I guess they're doing a senior photo shoot or something. Fast little beer joint here. Mighty fast beer joint. Not a lot of break. All right, drivers meeting's over with, so now we're gonna go ahead and start getting them lined up, rolling them across the scales, get ready for qualifying. Gonna be a green, white, checker qualifying, two laps. Oh, this isn't bad. I can't get three people to agree to go eat at the Golden Corral on Wednesday night. This man got about 10 people come from Vermont on a weekend trip. Four VTs gonna go, and then the four Leadbetters gonna go roll over to qualifying. The man with the longest haul award, Chris Riondo from Vermont, Come down here to race with us for the M51 Designs 51 lapper tonight. Chris, what made you want to come all the way to Rougemont, North Carolina to race? Oh, just to try out another new track down here. We travel all over, as you guys all know. Just another fun track to race on right here. What do you think about it so far, man? We talked earlier and you asked me, does the South ever pave racetracks? I don't think this track has been paved since it first been paved in the get-go. Um, pretty bumpy, but fast. Definitely seems racy, as everybody likes to say. Man, we, we're coming down here, we race on scuffs, where up north it might be a little bit different. What do you uh, look for tire conservation for tonight's race? I think you're gonna have to have some patience, which everybody up north will laugh, because I sometimes I lack that. So we'll see. Uh, probably easy on the throttle, easy on the brakes coming into the corners, but I think we got a pretty good piece on at least staying in the top three, so we'll find out. All right, everybody work together good i know it's new to the street stock gang to go in order hopefully we're trying to start something new eisenhower and wordlings and be the last two 
Lynn and Chase still making some wholesale changes. So we got everybody lined up on the front stretch. Show sure is a pretty sight. Got the vintage sportsman class, local class here. Old Darrell Walker sound good. Time to go bolt battery technology pole qualifying. Jeff Sparks be the first one to roll off. Track record to 1578. Kyle Lynch from Virginia came to race with us. And Brewster Baker be rolling off four from Jeff Melton. Probably look for that car soon on one of those online simulation things. A little insider info. Guess Brewster had to pay six pack before he eases up here. over with but uh somehow i just don't feel like i'd pass cup uh requirements cup series requirements at least it's air conditioned i'm here with marlon yoder i know he works for rick hendrick but he seems he's been acting like ryan newman the rocket man here in gxs street stock competition man you don't want all three of my poles what's your secret laying down such fast laps man i don't know it's uh this thing this thing is an absolute rocket ship it really is uh, it can lay down, uh, you know, one or two laps right there really quick. Uh, but I tell you, we 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 got to finish it. Um, had a had a part failure in the first two races, so my today's goal is to to finish this one off. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, this, this thing it, it qualifies good for sure. Wish y'all could have seen that uh, that whole lap Yoder laid down. That man was flying. So uh, now we wait. Kind of the calm before the storm. It's time where you get your bologna burger and your uh, your Mountain Dew. So uh, rolling off fifth. So next time we see you, it'll more than likely be dark. I know it's been all kind of round over the board today trying to get a video that makes sense, but it's time for the National Anthem. It's time to go to race. something nice to have at the Carlisle Manor. I don't know where I put it, but it'd be nice. I'd put it up at Tyler's shop. What well, thank Mama Judy. It's been a hot day, hasn't it? Yes, it has. It has really been hot. Hopefully the action be hot on the racetrack like it's been out here. We got some competition here. Tonight. Yeah, we got the big dogs. We ain't got the biggest field, but we got the heavy hitters here. Hopefully right. when we come back September 30th, we'll have a, 
maybe a lot more, but I understand people wanted to see it. Ain't been a race here in five years. That's We're street great. starting race. That's so. great. But no cooking this week. I know a lot of people like to see you cook. We just pounding liquid IV as much as we can. Especially with this hot heat, you have to do IV a lot. We're gonna roll the chargers off and then it'll be 51 laps, M51 design, 51 lap street stock race. Getting our last little bit of liquid IV in it. I'm telling you, it's 8.30 and it's still hot. Y'all know how much I love them sunsets over there. Orange County got a good one going on. Ready to go line up. How about that? A speaker in the pits you can hear. A good lane in that car. That's pretty cool. There's one guy standing in third. Steve Burlington and Larry Eisenhower have always also been here. So it's it's been a, a, some guys here that have been here, raced here before, and put on a good show. Going to have uh, green flag racing in one lap here. The feature race tonight, the GXS Street Stocks here at Orange County Speedway for 51 laps. All my life I heard number 13 was unlucky. And as long as I can remember about racing green was unlucky. And, and uh, Worthington's in a green 13. So I'm going to say how he's going to do yeah, really. <laughs> he's been racing that. He's been racing that color scheme for a long time. Huh? Here we go. On the break, it's going to be the number zero eight of Yoder will take the lead. He'll be followed by Rondo, the second place car, and then a good battle for third place between Jeff Sparks and Gary Ledbetter. And Gary Ledbetter takes that third spot away from Jeff Sparks. So Jeff Sparks, I was talking to him a while ago, finishing third in the late model. He was looking forward to this race. Yes, I've got Jeff Sparks driving the 48 tonight and, and Ledbetter driving the number four. That's right. Yeah. But Ledbetter normally drives 32 when I've seen him race. Exactly. Past. Yeah, he, he's been running 48 the past few years. But you got two number four cars out there colored very similar, similar to each other. And um, that second place car is, of course, uh, Chris Run Rundo, I think it's how you pronounce it. And then you got... Uh, Behind him, the third place car right now is Gary Ledbetter in that, in that second, and you got uh, Sparks in that number 48 car. Well, we talk about them. We want to be that Marlon Yoder is really showing some muscle here in the early laps of this race as he's taking the lead, held on to the lead. He's got about a three, four car lead lead. Is it cross start finish line? Four laps in. We got, well, 46 more to go. Yes, sir. And you know, the car that really interests me a whole lot if we get in the shot here is that number 96 car. That looks like a, a Richard Childress uh, a car like Richard Childress drove back when he first started racing. There you see it right there, right behind the Gary Ledbetter car. Yeah, Max Porter. Mm -hmm. That's a that's the color scheme that uh, Richard Childress used in his early years on the uh, NASCAR Cup circuit. So uh, a very beautiful race car and uh, a very good running race car right now. Yeah, doing a good job as Max Porter in that 96 car. Uh, staying in the tire tracks of that uh, 48. Still there. He almost made it all up because I don't know if Marsh knew that uh, Yoder was under him when he turned one. Oh, oh and now oh, Morse gets up in the wall up there in turns one and two. Don't know if he'll be able to make it back or not. The green stays out as for right now. He's and slowing down a whole lot. Yeah, we'll see if he makes it back or not. Caution and on the racetrack. And there is caution on the racetrack. Tough break for the 99 car tonight, driven by Jeff uh, Jeff Mars, bringing out the first caution here with the GSX uh, Street Stocks for the radio listener. Twenty-five down, twenty-five to go. Fifteen hundred yeah. to the winner. This is a big race. Yeah. 
very good, very good purse for the winner here tonight. Oh, man, we didn't get a good start at all. To Somebody, some, I don't know if he uh, missed a shift or whether, you know, whether they'll do the start again, but uh, let's see here. I think they're going to redo the start. Well, maybe not. No, they're going to let it go. They're going to let it go. Okay. They're going to so, let it go. So apparently Rendo must have missed a shift or something. So they're yeah. going to continue on. We're going to have uh, halfway home this time by. Halfway home, 26 down, 25 to go in this 51 lap. Street stock race here, GXS Street Stock here tonight, Orange County Speedway for the first time ever. And putting on a good show right now. Right now, uh, speaking of waking up, Gary Ledbetter putting the move on the uh, car of uh, Rando. I think Ledbetter's in second. Actually, actually, in actually, third. actually, Ledbetter just took the lead, and I, it, it threw me off there with the two four. Yeah. Ledbetter, Ledbetter, that car looks like a. Uh, yeah, Ledbetter is in second right now. He's the he's driving the Camaro, and I think uh, the car of. Uh, uh, He's driving the older Camaro, and then uh, Rando is driving the newer-looking Camaro, if, he, if I'm not mistaken. You know, trying to uh, distinguish the cars by that way. And, of course, Ledbetter driving with the lighter-colored wheels on his car. They're having a great battle for second place. Might be confusing, but it's a good battle. And right now, Ledbetter pulls out to a, about a car-length lead over Rando. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to really – okay, I'm looking to see the difference. So, like, Jeff, uh, Gary Ledbetter's forward laying back a little bit. Maybe that'll help me. And of course, if you really look at it, uh, Rainbow's uh, name is across the windshield. His, so that we, we can see that. That, that, yeah, there you, <laughs> if there you get, go. If the camera gets it just right, we'll get it right. Yeah, yeah. I know Ledbetter. He's been driving that. Uh, every time I've seen him race, he's always been driving one of the older model Camaros, about you know mid '70s, somewhere around there. And uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to go by right now. Right now, the uh, car of Jeff Sparks just about 10 car lengths behind those two guys. Best battle on the racetrack right now is for second place. 20 laps to go here in this GXS street stock feature here tonight at Orange County Speed. <laughs> Gonna come down for two laps to go this time down in that number zero eight, and once again he's hearing everything in the world in that car right now, hearing all the parts clanking around, and just wanting this thing to be over. And once again we look back, and once again Rain Dog on the inside of uh, we're gonna have a great battle for second place here as Rain Dog goes on the inside of the Gary Ledbetter car, but once again Ledbetter holds him off. Rain Dog in another in a in a place of his own there. He's gonna take the Check. First career victory for Marlon Yoder here at Orange County Speedway tonight in this GXS Street Stock class. Uh, it'll be interesting. He had three poles after the night. No wins, but now he's got that one win, that first win, which is always a, a big one. So the way we have the finish right now, Yoder, Ledbetter, and Rando, and then Sparks and Melton. Melton got around uh, to get the fifth position, so uh, top five finish after all said and done for Jeff Melton in that number 49 T-Bird. So here comes uh, Marlon Yoder, and in just a second. Great race, the four cars back here. Marlon Yoder, the winner. Good race. Uh, that thing was dialed in, man. It was uh, it was good. It got a little free after that restart, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Uh, a little tight in the middle here. Uh, free off, but then it kind of came to me after five laps there. So, man, this one, this one's been a been a minute. It's been a while coming for this. Gary Ledbetter running second. Great job by him and her duo for putting a heck of a race on in the back. No pictures of this. <laughs> Tony Stevens yeah. with Pit Road TV. Hey, man. Live. What'd you think? What'd you know? What'd you think about the GXS race? That's a pretty good race. It wasn't bad for the first race. one in Orange County in five years. I agree. That's pretty sporty. Getting ready to go check. Check these guys out. They put on a whale of a show for 51 laps.
Winner, winner, fifteen hundred dollars richer. Marlon Yoder. Hi, right, Marlon. You you finally broke through, man. You finally did it. No part failures this time. You walked the dog on them. Tell us about man, it. Man, I tell you what. Uh, this one feels this one feels good. This one uh, after after qualifying on a pole for the two first uh, two GXS races and then coming out here and being being dominant. Uh, Qualify on a pole, new track record, that was pretty badass. Um, and then, uh, man, the car was really good. Like, it, it was dialed in. It, it, it changed a little bit after that caution. Uh, it took about five laps for it to come back. But, man, it was, uh, it was probably one of the best race cars I've had, to be honest. And I love this racetrack. This is the first time here, but it's so fast, man. Uh, these street stocks are absolutely flying around here. Um, it's it's a good time. I tell you what, it, this was a good day. So, man, we'll see you back here for round four on a Saturday, September 30th. Can't be, put me on the spot, huh? Man, I, I tell you what, <clears throat> I'm going to try, uh, most certainly. Uh, we're going to see what happens uh, with the... Uh, with the race at Tri County. Yeah, because right people that don't know, you leading the points over there. Leading the, the points at Tri County. Uh, just took that points lead over a couple weeks ago. Um, so now, with Tri County running the same night that GXS is here, I might see if I can if I can uh, get a ride lined up, get somebody get somebody out here with a car. Um, if, if Tri County would work with me and Orange County would work with me, if if Tri County was a run first. Uh, right away at 6.30 in the evening, I might could run the race, jump in uh, my passenger car, and fly over here and uh, jump in the car for a uh, for GXS race. But I don't know, that, that one... It had to be a lot of moving parts, it's man. It's a lot of moving parts. I don't know if that's, if that's possible. It's a, it's a good little drive from here. Uh, but man, if I can make it here, I will be here. What GXS uh, wraps and, and, and car store, uh, what everybody's doing, Steven and everybody, what they're doing with this whole program is is absolutely going to be awesome. Um, and, and we're just getting the kinks worked out, right? Go, going into next year, I feel like uh, if GXS can release the schedule, uh, say in like January or the latest in February, so people can, can, can plan whether they want to come run this, uh, this traveling series, or run at their local track, right, for a championship. So it doesn't put people in a bind. Um, but this is this is good, man. This this whole program is is going to be really really good. A lot of banking here in front stretch. All right, Fred. That's another one in the books. What do you think? Yeah. Glad to get back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah. That was that was. A lot that battle for second was damn good. Everybody's first time on high banks. Hey, tell them. You having to bend your knee to stand on front stretch. You can't tell from the video. It's, it's a bank speed ball, that's yeah, for sure. That truck. Oh yeah, I'd give you truck looks level. Until you look. Wave goodbye, Fred. Even the Sunoco sign over there I've been trying to get to take to the house. Let's go to Burlington. Yeah, get in a bed at the Holiday Inn Express. Thank everybody for coming. If I missed you, it was because you wasn't at your trailer. Thank you very much for coming and supporting us and what we're trying to do. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Time to go find the Waffle House or something, Chili's, Waffle something. House. And then we're going to sleep Chili. about two days. But thank you all very much for the support. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know how it's going to turn out because it was all over the place. I just asked about 733 questions a day, but loved every minute of it. So big thank you to M51 Designs and Matt Marchbanks for everything he does for the GXS Street Stock Series. It's only going to get better. Just got to give us some time to work out all the kinks. So other than that, y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.